What's up, guys? Back again. We have another episode of Consumed. And on this one, we're going to be talking about Amazon wanting to open up 3,000 checkout lists retail concepts in the next three years. Last few months, you guys have probably seen countless headlines um, talking about this new concept that Amazon is rolling out called Amazon Go. And essentially, Amazon Go is a mashup of a convenience store, a grocery store, kind of a fresh market deli um, in a very small format. But what makes them much different is there's there's no cashier, there's no checkout process. So essentially you just go in, you scan your phone with the app, and then all the tech underneath the hood of the store kind of does the rest. So it has some different kind of like uh, visual technology. It has some machine learning, some some AI. There's a lot of different things that are kind of working um, working together to make the process um, seem kind of Jetsons futuristic uh, feel to it. So I think the biggest thing that most people and even myself when they announced this was the number three thousand. That's kind of crazy because. They only have three now. You start to think to yourself, okay, how are they gonna get to 3,000 then? And this kind of goes into uh, kind of a bigger point. And a recent interview, and, and this is something that uh, Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon has talked about a few times, but he talks about like his strategic map or his strategic kind of brain and how he thinks. And he thinks three years out, very similar to myself, I get called a futurist all the time when I'm in client meetings. I think in business today, you have to be looking forward to get ahead of the competition. And Jeff Bezos is kind of the king of that. He's taking large leaps in, in all of the things that Amazon does. Sometimes they miss on them, but a lot of times these things work out. So he announced that he was doing 3,000 locations before 2021, which is three years out. So it makes me think he already has a plan in place. How is he going to get to 3,000 locations? He's not going to build 3,000 locations. That's just kind of absurd. I don't think uh, Amazon has the infrastructure to be able to build 125 of these locations a month over the next three years. So that makes me think they already have an acquisition target. And this is counter to what Amazon usually does. They are definitely a, a build over buy type of a, a company. They love to try to build um, build their own things. But I think... Amazon understands there's kind of a unique environment going on where they need to act fast. So just like they bought Whole Foods um, or, you know, this week they bought an Indian, um, I think an Indian supermarket retailer, they're going to look to acquire some type of like convenience or, or some type of a real estate portfolio that matches um, what they want from a geographical or, or, just, um, or just a number of locations to meet this. Um, to meet this goal. Who is that? I don't really know. I, I didn't take a look close enough to kind of make some predictions. Um, if I have some more time in the next couple of months, I'll probably, uh, if I find something interesting um, out there in the market, I'll probably definitely uh, make a prediction just because I think those things are fun. But I think at this point with Amazon, um, you know, trying to have, you know, kind of the first to $1 trillion in revenue, um, they're looking at, you know, kind of a multi-prong approach, but, you know, be it cloud services, be it advertising, uh, those things are going to be small long-term comparison to uh, this retail and not only retail, but like the grocery kind of aspirations, that's going to get them to that $1 trillion in revenue. So competing against Walmart, uh, Walmart has you know, an advantage, uh, quite honestly, to to Amazon right now, and that's the number of locations they have. And um, if you guys have followed anything with like e-commerce grocery, uh, click and collect is a huge driving force that's going on right now. So, you know, with Walmart having 5,000 locations comparable to a Whole Foods that has 500 locations, they are in a, a much better position um, to be able to, to offer those. I don't think Amazon or Walmart have, have, have totally scaled out the click and collect to all their locations. I think Walmart only has about 1,000 locations doing click and collect right now. To win this kind of battle, um, you know, Amazon is, is kind of putting their flag in the ground in an area of opportunity they see that they don't think Walmart um, can act fast enough in. And I, and I think Amazon sees really strong opportunity um, with kind of this small format convenience uh, proposition. And they don't think 
Walmart can beat them at that. And I think they're kind of looking at Walmart and some of the struggles with some of their smaller format stores and, and they kind of see, hey, we, we can do this better. We can go quicker. Um, and they're trying to take advantage of kind of the urban sprawl of the millennials and kind of younger generations moving to metro areas um, and also just kind of trying to get as close as possible to the urban population um, or uh, commuters that are in and trying to uh, buy fresh or, or quick things as fast as possible. So Amazon's essentially trying to get small and trying to get quick and nimble to beat Walmart. And Amazon wants to, you know, kind of win um, in these urban areas. And those areas are also kind of tough from an e-commerce grocery perspective because some of those cities being so um, kind of so highly populated, uh, they generally pick delivery over kind of click and collect and those delivery costs, final mile uh, costs uh, with kind of two hour delivery and all those things um, can be kind of costly at this point until logistical um, efficiencies have gotten to the point where it makes a lot more sense. So Amazon has um, essentially drew a line in the sand and saying we need to get as close as possible to those customers um, and offer them a solution that is... It has more value to it than ordering something online and having to pay a delivery fee or having to wait a certain amount of time because of the um, complexity of the city. I know the point of this video was probably a little bit different than what you guys thought because I think most people think Amazon Go um, and the tech behind um, Amazon Go is what is going to give Amazon the advantage over a Walmart or some other of their competitors. But I think a lot of that proprietary technology is is actually getting copied or pushed forward um, by other smaller companies um, that are gonna offer these to other retailers. So I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of differentiation um, from the tech side of things, but I think Amazon is trying to get you know smaller and closer to the consumer um, because there's a lot of kind of trends um, that are backing up uh, just the things they're doing with that Amazon Go. Uh, store from location uh, perspective, uh, like trends, like from a mobility standpoint or um, from a uh, merchandising standpoint in terms of what millennials are looking at for how they want to quickly purchase food or how they purchase food um, and how they spend their time. So I think Amazon is, is, is not necessarily putting a flag in the ground and saying this technology is is going to be the deciding factor. I think they're making some strong points for some bigger trends. Always kind of obviously impressed with the things that Amazon and Jeff Bezos does. Um, you know, I definitely drink the Kool Aid a lot. Definitely somebody that's been a believer in Amazon for uh, you know probably a decade at this point. Just like any kind of Greek god, even Achilles had. Um, kind of that one area that uh, he could be attacked at and I think it, it you know Amazon can make mistakes they they probably will make mistakes um, and it's just a matter of time before you see one that maybe you know chips away at, at kind of the pristine um, perspective that we all kind of have about Amazon right now but at this point I think it's just the train is moving it's chugging along things are going great for Amazon and this is just another move that a shock and going to kind of change the uh, perception of, of just things in the grocery or convenience retailing market, but it further just connects Amazon um, to uh, buyers to uh, strengthen that brand's ecosystem even more than it is now, which is kind of absurd to even think about. But we'll kind of see how this progresses. But I wanna thank you guys for sticking around this long. If you guys have done that, hit the thumbs up button, helps me out a ton. If you guys um, have not done this so far, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps ensure you guys are getting all my content. And as always, I don't charge for this content. You guys can use this however you want in your business. Um, if you guys have gotten some value out of it um, or some entertainment, make sure you guys are telling a friend, tell a colleague. Um, want to grow this community a little bit stronger, a little bit bigger. But uh, just want to thank you guys again for your time and I'll see you guys on the next one.